Ding dong, evening YouTube, and welcome back to M0 CSN's place on the interweb. Just going to uh, throw a little video out there for you uh, regarding a couple of comments that uh, I got. Uh, with regards to CB, um, as to not go too much in depth with CB because it's not amateur radio. Well, here's the thing, I started out on CB, so I'm going to find that a bit difficult really. Problem is, what's wrong with CB? Uh, it's not leprosy or anything like that. I, I don't understand why people have got an hang up on it because you came from CB and you got an amateur licence. Some of the best amateurs I know were ex-CBers and uh, they were the bands better than some call signs that have been around for decades so I'm not too sure what the issue is to be honest as you can see in the background we've got the screen on ham radio deals well I've changed the name of the channel to obviously M0 CSN because that's me be stupid to name it anything else really wouldn't it uh, but also known as Mr Ham Radio Deals because along with Mick G0 UEX we own and run Ham Radio Deals and I've done since 2007 uh, was when we first set it up. It was a bit of a joke, a bit of a laugh, never intended for it to uh, get any mileage at all. Uh, just a night board I suppose, messing around with some free forum software and uh, that was it, Ham Radio Deals was born and for a couple of months it was just local between the lads, friends with no intentions of actually setting it up as a, a full-blown sort of uh, online forum for trading news radio gear but hey we did it and it started picking members up and it's carried on picking members up it's been around what, I think it's about 16 years or something now 2007, 17, yeah, so 16 years it's been around, it's a long time and people, I suppose in a lot of ways, you wake up in the morning, you come on the internet and if you're into radio like we are, uh, I am you watching obviously into radio because you won't be watching if you weren't but we all wake up and we've all got a certain thing we expect to see, we, we get on, we turn eBay on, we check the radio gear on eBay, we want to see what's going on eBay uh, we're on Facebook, we're on the radio groups on Facebook, we have a little look around there see what's going on. Um, and then obviously, ham radio deals, that's it, that's what people do, they expect it there every day. It's like going on HF, starting to work the DX, and you're using QRZ. You go on the radio, you expect QRZ to be there, that's the way it is, because you're that used to using it, it's going to be wrong if it's not. HRD has fast become that, well fast become that, 16 years it's took it to become that, but it's pretty much that's the way it is, people wake up, they expect it to be there, trust me, when it breaks, which isn't often, by god do I get some emails, text messages, messages on Facebook telling me it's down and Christ knows what, the world's ending, it's just the way it is, because people expect it to be there, I mean I, I can't tell you how many emails and private messages I get each week regarding the site and the goings on on it, people can't log in, they've forgot who they are or whatever it is it is but whatever it is I'm at the end of it and they expect us to deal with it because they use it, that's the way it is. But here's the ironic part of it, and Radio Deals is set up for the amateur side of things, we allow CB stuff, we don't allow anybody to join without a call sign because we check everybody that goes on there. If we keep it safe, we don't want to mess about. There's a reason that we're as anal as we are when we come to banning people and we sort of like block people, we take them off and whatnot. There's a reason for it. It's safety. We've got members, we've got to look after them, we've got to make sure it's a safe environment, that's it. But the irony of it is that it's an AM radio forum and it's run by two CBers, ex CBers, whatever you want to call it. Absolute madness for all the um, amateur hierarchy. CBs are a bunch of idiots and they're not fit to lace my boots and shouldn't allow them on the radio and all this caper. And one of the biggest forums that they use is run by two CBers or ex CBers as it is now. So it doesn't go and hold much water for saying CBers are a bunch of clowns. Because that makes us a bunch of strong man, having said that, I don't know. 
I have a grief will take on there some days, I think I must be. But you get the drift. Just because you're on CB doesn't sort of turn you into a, a degenerate. There are degenerates on there, but there are degenerates on amateur radio as well. Listen to the Bouvet Island de expedition the other week. That was absolutely mind boggling. You've got phone call signs worldwide, keying out, playing music, calling them all sorts, swearing and everything. Couldn't make it up. And this is supposed to be a technic lobby with intelligent people in it. It, it just mind boggles. Have they done the license down too much? I don't know. But I don't think the criteria these days is anything like it used to be. When I got my license, I did the RE, I did the Morse, and you got your ass kicked off the G2s, G3s. If you did so much as got the call signs back to front, which I did on the first couple of occasions of like using two meters. I got a G3 dropped on me like a sergeant major and he then half give me a roast and he's not having none of it. This is not the way we do it on here. Do it on CB like that, get back on there you tosser. But you ain't doing it on here. That's the way it is. You can't come on the radio, amateur license in hand and expect to like just alter the status quo. There's a way of doing things and it should stay that way. I firmly believe that you come into it and do it as it is. Don't come into it and do it as you feel like. I just don't get how that works. You've got to treat respect. Show respect. If you can't do that, then go. A lot of people don't. And I think that's where the sort of niggles come with people from CB. But hey, just because they come from CB doesn't mean anything. Some people get a call sign. They've never been on radio before in their life. And they're just absolute balloons on there. So make of that what you will. But in the context of it, like I said, the guys, uh, we don't go too much into CB. Well, that's just not going to happen because I had a lot of fun on CB. I still collect CBs. I've got a nice collection here. I'll probably show you later on down the line. Nice Excalibur on bases. I'm international multi-mode twos. Comp 1200 DXs. They were crap compared to the latest uh, Tech HF stuff. There's no getting away from it. But you know what? Back in the day, they weren't. Everybody wanted them, they included, so what's happened now is I've now got a wallet that can afford to buy them and keep them. And I've started, well, I've started to do that, I've been doing it for 20 years, so I've got a nice little selection of them things. I like to look at them, it makes me happy, that's the way it is. Some people collect model trains, some people collect slippers, whatever, I don't know, whatever, margarine tubs, whatever floats you know, isn't it? We're all right croppers at the end of the day, aren't we? We're just scaled up on a level. Some of us have got egg downers jumpers. Some of us have got shirts that never seen a washer. But basically we're all the same thing, aren't we? We're all nerds sat in a room talking to people we don't even know. But it keeps us happy, so... Whether it's on CB, whether it's off CB, whether it put your arm ready or beginning, whether it's never had anything to do with it and you just fanged it by default, got bored and decided to try it, we're all in the same thing. So let's take people for how they are and uh, not for where they come from and what you think they should be doing and what they're not doing. And I think we'll all get along just famously. So that's that take on that one. Like I said, no, it's the name change. It is M0 CSN still. But it is also Mr. Am Radio Deals, or oh, one half of Am Radio Deals, Mickle swing from it. He's the other half, G0 UEX. Both did it together, still doing it together. Still love it. It's like having a second wife for the amount of nagging I get off there, but would I be without it? Nah, I don't think I would. I wake up every day expecting it to be there, even though there's a list of bloody emails that long from people asking who they are. To never get that one. I forgot my username. How do you forget your username? It's crazy, isn't it? You know, can you tell me? I get an email saying I forgot who I am. Can you tell me? If you don't know, how am I supposed to know? I'm not Doris Stokes, for God's sake. I've not got a clue, Mr. Dick Megbos. He's dead into so I don't count. But you get the idea. Help us out, boys. Save your passwords, save your username. Can't log in 99% of the time, it's user error. Always is. Check that one out. Right, listen, I'm going getting the brew bee. I've only been in from work a couple of hours. I've been running around on the phone, busy, busy, busy. I'm going to get a brew, chill out. I think I'll go and watch Coronation Street, if the truth be known, because that's what you do, isn't it? I'm a Rex. All right, I know you, like I've got to say, you don't. You're watching technical stuff and building balance and 60 element beams and everything. I bet you're watching MNL Farm, though, before me. 
Right, I'll leave you with it. I'm getting the brew, a cup of coffee, whatever. And, uh, well, I'll be back later in the week. Next week, in fact, I don't know. Might even do it weekend, we'll see what we do. But we'll get some it knocked up, we'll get it put out. Cheers for the likes, cheers for the comments as well. Again, like I said, if you like it, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I don't mind what it is. If it's just a load of nonsense, I'll reply anyway, because just that's the kind of guy I am. Either way, I appreciate it, and thanks for the views. So it's nice to know that somebody's looking, whether you like it or you don't. Catch you later. Cheers, John M0CSM. Have a good one.